I was in England and I started when I was about 11 year old. My father gave me a train set and I started working on it and he built a, a little platform in my bedroom so I could actually have fun with that so, um, outside of family time. Uh, taught me quite a bit about um, electronics, interestingly enough. I had a switch which wouldn't work and I had to understand how to use an electromagnet. So at the age of 12, I sort of started working through those things and that gave me a bit of an interest in science. And then we moved to Australia and I stopped all work on train set, but then uh, married and uh, along came children and my son was about seven when my wife said to me, you know, it'd be really good if you did something with your son. I couldn't figure out what quite to do, but my wife gave us this train set. She said, at Christmas time, you need something to do with your son. And so when the box was opened, that was the beginning of the end. We never stopped working on it, but the electrical connections were the biggest pain in the neck, getting all the rails sorted out, and then especially all the lighting that I'd done. I had to sort of remember where all the wires went, and there you're left with wires you've no idea where they're meant to go. Thinking about how was I going to work on this, on this layout? Was I going to continue with lots and lots of wiring or moving in a different direction? The other area that has fascinated me is really putting in uh, a bit more lighting. So I went to somebody and I said, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to use fiber optics. And they said, uh, can't be done. You just won't have enough light through those tiny fibers. We must understand, being a physicist, when you say something can't be done, that's like a red rag to a bull. So I set to work about six years ago, starting to fiddle around with LEDs uh, to get a bright enough light source, um, but efficient light source, so it's not putting out too much heat, um, and ended up uh, actually developing um, a system that I put on my train layout expanding that at this time, putting in lighting into buildings, putting into various different street lights I'm creating. And a couple of years ago, my grandson and I talked about, well, why don't we start a company? Why don't we start putting this out? Because we like it here. Maybe other people could actually benefit from a, basically something that's absolutely zero wiring, no wiring involved at all. Because all you do really is just take a fiber, drill a hole in your train layout, stick the fiber up into the building, the other end of the fiber just goes into this box uh, that provides the light.